See if you can get some folks and material, which could fly up, eh? So yeah, that's it, that's it. And just a little bit on that side there. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Day two of retaining wall build. What do you think of that? New saw? Look at that. Battlefield. Well, oh really? Yeah, really? Well you you'd be able to get through and then just knock knock off the edge, no? So it's a TS eight hundred. I hope the frig gets useful. This one's got the choke, eh? See, it's the old uh, carbureted one. You need a tape measure, I think. Where are you? Just look at it. Yeah, you're within an inch. So you knock it off and just on an angle. Better than the other way. <laughs> so oh, we'll find out. I guess time will tell. Okay, so it's looking, it's getting there. <clears throat> you just went in, eh? Okay, well, we'll see what that does. Yeah. Okay, good. Watch your fingers. I think you're a little off, but. Gotta come probably towards you a bit. Trying to get it to go down. Okay, so we've actually got two machines here on the job today. Four guys. So we're building that retaining wall. We're going to do the driveway next. Hey, you need to go get the glue, the tube. It's in the trailer. Might need to bring an extra tube too. And the uh, ABS pipe in for the downspouts. Okay, sorry I didn't film too much of the retaining wall build, uh, but we got the wall in. Next, we were going to do the driveway, but uh, the customer wanted to fill in the ditch over there. And so, as you can see, the water comes in from the road and then into that culvert underneath the driveway but to extend the driveway where he wants it we we're going to put an extension on but the customer didn't like the ditch because it is pretty deep and uh ugly looking so we talked to the municipality and they said we could fill it in and i'll show you what we've got for that so i just came in here we got ourselves an 18 inch pipe it's pretty big and we got ourselves a 15 well we have to put a uh, access point here Yeah, it might not hurt to take, uh, we may have to take more material. We may have to cut that pipe first, cut it straight. Yeah, I was gonna say. And then, uh, and then so we can get a little, uh, we can take more material out from underneath it.
We have our 22 degree elbow coming off of here. This one is a little higher than that pipe, but that's okay. I think this elbow is gonna help us compensate for that. And we'll also have to measure the collar, but we should cut this one first before we do this collar because this going back might adjust this a little bit. Okay, I'll, uh, how much higher do you think it is? Here, tell me when it's level. More? Yep, more. Oh, it's there. It's like two inch, two inches. On, it looks like it's more on this side, eh? Oh, no, I think it's on. We gotta come down. So we expose this other culvert the thing we have to deal with is I think this pipe's either a different brand because the end don't fit inside although it says it's a 15 inch so we're just checking to see if it was oval or we'll just zip that end off and uh, put a collar on it. Oh, we could ship that one out of the way. Okay. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta take this back out, eh? So we wanna get the, we gotta get that pipe in there too. So we, I just wanna get it as close as possible. Maybe we shove them that way. Too. Oh. Watch out. I think oh. a little hammer would work. Watch out. Oh, the excavator. No. Yeah, I want to be the excavator. No, oh, come on, let me do it just once. I think we just got to take one more nub off and we'd be perfect. No, yeah, no, but look. Here, you still have to go around. Here, this. Is there dirt in there or what's in there? Is it in there? It's all the way, uh, you got like, uh, here, there. Yeah, I got as far as it can go. Are you sure? What about well, I can see it. Is that as far as it can go? Well, you can stick your light, light in there. Hold on. Oh, what do I look light. like, a coat hanger? What are you going to do? I'm looking in the hole, like everyone else. He, he has a lot of experience. <laughs> well, I'm there. You're there? Well, you thought I was lying to you? So when we just cut another nub off, I think we'd be perfect. Well, that one's out a little bit, but it looks like if you cut on this side, that that'll line up perfectly. Okay. okay. So the municipality came by and approved the work, said it looked good. <laughs> no permit required on this one. It's a small municipality. You don't really would have to wait weeks to get this finalized but it's done yeah i'm not taking it off that's fine okay we'll start back to one oh feels good to be in a machine i'm comfortable with. not an excavator guy and uh, as much as i needed an excavator for this job Back filling. This 
was uh, a really fun job actually. I haven't done one this complex because of the, that two, uh, we had an 18 inch joining into a 15. It's really, I don't know if it's odd, but it's not usual, I guess. The machine's cold. It's, it was uh, zero degrees this morning. It's freaking cold. And hydraulic fluid is really, really thick until it warms up. So everything's like not as responsive as it would be uh, if it was warmer. I just did a job around the corner for my friend. So I got some more fill that we're gonna, we took out of his property and we're now, we'll bring it over here. And that'll help fill in. It seems to be a ditch. And we're filling it in so the guy can have front lawn. So yeah, I rented that excavator. I know I'm gonna get one next year, but uh, not sure exactly what size. And that one's a three and a half ton excavator. It's perfect for this job. Okay, that'll conclude this video. I'm Darren with Northstead Landscaping. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.